And welcome back. This is Kotel on Friday the 13th. Can't believe I didn't know that date for the other video. Um, this is the second map on the Friday United European Community event. This is going to be Horn Crib. And it is a conquest. For the balance right now, we have 280, so about the same uh, 281. So good server population, almost full. 141 for the CSA, 139 for the USA, so just about dead even. Let's take a look at that USA team. It includes the 52nd New York, the 8th Florida, along with 7th New York joining them, the 6th NYV, the 3rd Alabama, Two core. And SB, 51st New York. I believe they have some party as well. Let's see if I can get over there in time to see it. Let's see. It looks like they have a couple batteries here. It's two. Looks like two core has one. And SB has another under Corporal Leo. Let's take a look at the CSA team. Start out with their already first. First bit. They have LFL and a quartermaster Abilene. And looks like two guns under V8 Bat. Well, one's AGL, I should say. Uh, AGL's got one gun, and then VA Bat under Henry Perkins have the other gun. So, so three guns total for the CSA. Let's take a look at their infantry. They have 12th VA under Captain Flores. AGL under Captain Tiberius. LFL under Colonel Famas. GC under Lieutenant James Joker. 39th New York under Captain David. A and V under Colonel Killer. 56 Virginia under Captain Slaughter. And 20 in Georgia under Colonel Jumbo. So we are live at 40. So we'll see how each team moves out. I'm going to watch Union first because I didn't catch all their commanders. So that'll give me a chance to do that. I'm not a huge fan of the woods. Hopefully they will not do too much fighting in the woods. But if they do, I will do my best to catch it. So we are live now. Let's see how the Union moves out. All right, so we got <laughs> Fritz leading the 8th Florida, and he's joined by 52nd under Empling. Looks like they are heading out to A point. They are joined by Parker and the NYV. Further back, they haven't moved out yet. This 3rd Alabama under Williamson. All right, and going to, looks like going to B, we have Venom leading SB out front. He is joined by two core under Major Braun. I believe that is it. All right, so looks like Union going for two points. Let's see how the CSA is going. Looks like they got two elements heading to C. They will get there uncontested. It is Slaughter and Flores. But the main fight looks like it's going to happen over B, and it is going to be a meeting engagement. Leading the way for the CSA is Killer A and V, joined by 20 of Georgia. Here comes 20 to see if Jumbo can get off a shot. They will get an initial volley off. Killer is maneuvering his men up. He goes down. His men continue. Coming He's going firing. to be coming into Empling here in the 52nd. CSA is continuing to move forward here. It's like David is looking for a flank on the left. While wow. LFL and GC have moved around the Union flank and have engaged two corps. If I can get a decent angle on this. Jesus. I'm sucking on the camera work today. I apologize, guys. And 
two cores getting it traded pretty far, so the CSA looks like they have the advantage here, although Brits is going to try to keep the flag up here. He's got some support by Venom. Try to watch his flank. But right now, Union has two points, CSA has one point. As Parker gets his men back, they got a base of fire against this wall here. Only unit left out by the point is Venom. And he is pulling his men back wisely. On the left side, though, we do have an attack. And it is Williamson going in with the 52nd as well. Catching the CSA a little off guard here against AFL. Twenty of George is coming to meet him to help uh, support Third Alabama. Now here comes Parker though. Where is he going? He is not going to deal with Twentieth. All right, his men kind of got split there a bit, but now they've all gone to the point. But they have given Twentieth their backs. They are now in a box with 12th VA firing into him. Flag is almost halfway down already. Here comes Tiberius and Killer. That will push off the calf. CSA also pushing forward here on their left side. It is Slaughter along with the V trying to put some fire on the Union link ranks here. As Fritz tries to hold the base of fire. But he's taking too much fire. He's pulling back. Tucor trying to hold the line here, using the wall. So they are taking some blanket fire here. I slaughter in the 56. And the CSA has neutralized that flag. And they are in a pretty strong position here to hold it. Uh, the unit is a little bit boxed in right now. We'll see what they decide to do, how they want to try to maneuver to get out of this. Continue fighting for B and we're trying to sneak something over to C. Tickets right now just about even, 35 minutes into the match. Already seeing a lot of action on this uh, conquest. Here comes CSA trying to get an angle on him. Here's David. A bit of a uh, change of fire here. Forcing the Union back a little bit further. Now onto this hay bales. Let's see if they can try to get out of this box. They do have support on their left here. By 52nd, putting down some flanking fire. Looks like they're going to get joined here by Fritz and Aiden Parker. And Parker in the A and B. Yeah, we'll get out of this. Um, and Braun's pulling his men back. Yeah, that, that hay bales, you might think it's covered, but it's just a kill box. So the Union's smart. They're getting out of there. You're going to have to rethink their uh, strategy here and figure out how they want to attack this yet. It's next uh, engagement. But more reinforcements coming in from SB to reorganize a bit. So on the left side does is close to their spawn. It's a direct uh, line of um, sight there. Not line of sight. Line of communication. Let's see what the Union decides they want to do here. Even though the Union got to the flag foot the uh, flag first. The CSA did a good job of getting their men into superior positions. We're able to win that engagement. Uh, despite some good aggressive charges by the Union. But uh, it's tough. They got into a bit of a kill box here. We got the problem of trying to keep the flag up while the uh, CSA was able to get into superior firing positions. Speaking of that, CSA yeah, having some good strong positions here forward to overlook the uh, forest here along that fence line. Trying to push the Union back. Uh, there is one element here still on the corn. It is SB. Not the corn, the hay bales, I should say. I'm sorry. They're going to take a lot of fire. Taking shots from both angles. 
Yep, Phantom is pulling his men back. All right, now the Union's starting to make some moves. Here is Williamson leading a uh, combined element here, various units. He is getting behind the CSA line. Is he going to go for A? I mean, I'm sorry, for C, or is he going to try to get B? All right, we have our answer. He is going to decap C, and he has a flag with him. So see if this can unhinge the uh, tough CSA defense they have going on right now. They do have a base of fire of a couple units further back, distracting the CSA. But the CSA has seen something's up. Tiberius and AGL has seen the maneuver, and they're starting to move to react. Ooh. Good shots coming in. Three shots into Williamson, all hit. Hardy was overlooking Seaport, and they have uh, did some pretty heavy damage to Williamson. They do have enough men left to try to put the flag down. All right, interesting. So I missed this. Um, so the CSA did not sit on their laurels at all. So while Williamson was doing his back move, the CSA has pushed forward. And David, under 39th New York, joined by SR, has decapped A. So I like that a lot, again, by the CSA being aggressive here. Union being aggressive, too. Um, trying to find angles and not just fight a slug match out over here for B. So, good maneuvers there by both teams to kind of mix up the fight a bit. Though David is going to run into some trouble here soon. He's trying to deal with the Artie. While Venom is trying to bring his men up. To recapture A point. It's a line. Hold. Hold. It's a line. Shift left. Enemies directly in front. Shift left. See how this this uh, volley from Venom goes. Um, didn't do too much damage actually. Surprisingly, it looked like most of them slammed into the uh, pole that actually provided a good amount of cover. And while that was going on, I missed this fight. So CSA has reoccupied C, and it was by Tiberius. The Union has pulled back. You see Parker here trying to get his men back into a position they could still threaten C point from. Marcus still tries to do some maneuver here. Looks like um, Venom did charge in and he did occupy A point. So he will be able to get a flag back up there, but the Union is down pretty significantly on tickets at this point. Here comes two core. Some rotating volleys. Looks so like the hay bales actually um, gave uh, FAMAS some cover. He still has a small element there. But despite that, he is pulling back, and I do not blame him, because here comes Venom. Looks like he has some oh, FAMAS! Oh no! Oh no! Vamos! Oh no! No! <laughs> he's got a 
executed. Oh god, who shot him? Oh, Venom killed from us! Just, just shot him in the head! Look at the flowers! Oh god, alright, looks like uh, NYV has been pushed back as well. And CSA has recaptured that portion, portion of the field. And A and V, though, is pushing forward. Let's go to the gym, buddy. And they are going to chase down NYV here. It is tough to see here in this fourth inch. Whatever it's called. Treaties, bushes, high crash. All right, let's see here. Good Lord, I can't talk today. Killer chasing the guys off, but getting them reorganized, not getting too um, spread out here because and that's my decision because here comes Fritz along with Williamson. And they are going to charge into A and B if I can get an angle on this thing. They will succeed in wiping out A and B. Meantime, Union is pushing up now on B point. Two core has a base of fire over it. I'm sorry, not two core. Venom does. They got some two core guys mixed in. Main line of two cores back here with Braun. He's got some additional support in the corn here by 52nd. They have a pretty strong force here. What is opposing them? In the corn, you got GC and James Joker here waiting for him. Company is loaded. You got a couple other elements out here. You got a jump boat. Putting down some volleys here. And watching this right side, you got Flores. There was an element out here. Hold on. LFL was out here. I didn't even see them. And they have charged into 52nd. Good maneuver by LFL. Kind of make sure that the uh, left flank is secure. That gives them a good opportunity to maneuver on the Union. Gives GC a lot of freedom to maneuver. I like these maps, but they are hard for me to cover just because there's so much space and so many moving pieces. But um, I think that's like why a lot of it's like, ooh, good art shot. Put on some fire on 3rd Alabama. Uh, Flores kind of walking up to him and then walking away from him. Uh, I guess they were having a conversation. <laughs> Right, still got some volleys coming in from two core. See the entire two core here working together. You got two separate lines, each working independently, but all for one common cause. What you want to see? But they're about to get hit. LFL hitting them in the flank with a good attack. But good response by two core though. Uh, it tells it's getting shared between LFL and GC. We'll see if they can uh, take advantage of it. Wow, another Union line is coming through the corn though, so GC might have some problems here soon. Here's Fritz coming through the corn. As two core has moved up, this could lead to some friendly fire incidents. They are not careful. And we got a meeting engagement. Either one knew either one was there. And just confusion, pandemonium. That corn will mess with you. But two core is going to react. Put some fire down. Looks like we got another fight over here, though. A and V pushing up again, being aggressive. And I don't blame them. They're ahead on tickets. And they're going to charge out remnants of SB here. 
and they will easily win that fight. And now the back door to A is open. Um, there is some union out here. Empling is going to maneuver his men. We'll see if he can try to stop uh, Killer. If Killer decides to go for A, I'm not sure he will. Granley. Hey, uh, you're breaking the rules. What are you breaking the rules? Oh, boy. As A and V decides what they want to do there, we still got pressure on B point. So the Union has taken this uh, right side. Although LFL is still messing around. <laughs> oh, I still get pretty some headaches here. Park has joined him. They now have the flank here on B. Although they are getting challenged here by AGL. Who is joined by the 39th. They are going to put some pressure here on the Union. Trying to push him back a little bit. Trying to push back Parker and his guys. But, yep, so Killer did decide to go for A point. And he will succeed in bringing it down further, knocking down the Union tickets. And actually, this will put them into counterattack once they get it up, if no other points go down. So far, no Union heading for C. And despite a strong position here, NYV, they have not been able to kick off they're going to have to make a push there for B soon. Um, otherwise, they will be wiped out. Although, here we got an attack coming on on A. Try to prevent them from getting their flag down. Killer yeah, messing around with 3rd Alabama and 52nd New York. But he will succeed in getting the flag up. He will... Killer goes down, but he gives the order not to hold the point. He has decided to get his men out of there just as SB comes in and charges into him. But even though Killer will go down, he has drawn off a good portion of the uh, Union team. And um, that will allow for more time for the uh, CSA to solidify their position and keep up their tickets. Tukor has now moved to try to take out B point. Again, this is a direct result of what Killer did. So now Tukor is panicking a bit. And they know they have to get the flag down. They don't know that they've already won the A battle. So they think, oh god, we got to get to take the flag down. That's going to give an opportunity for the CSA to pour down some fire as the Union is exposed. And here comes uh, David with the gift. Yep, David's going to come up. Already had a nice shot, kind of disrupted that attack. All right, so Union is, uh, CSA is not taking as much advantage as I thought it would. As I thought they would. Uh, having two core out here in the open. I've been caught a little bit out of position here. They have retaken A point. That will stop the clock. And they will actually take B point with this maneuver. But they are almost on breaking in doing it. CSA is going to be able to maneuver an element down here. LFL is going to have an opportunity to outflank the two core. Uh, yep. Two core will try to get away, but LFL is going to have excellent shots as they retreat and really make two core pay uh, for getting B point back. And GC is now joining them. GC is also going to get some flanking shots in. And this is really going to make two core take some casualties, but I don't blame him. He needed to get that flag down. He didn't have any other info, so he made the right call there, in my opinion. Now Union actually, G GC is actually going to charge in. That's going to give these guys here, this combined unit here, an opportunity to shoot now into the CSA. Get some good shots as the CSA tries to recap. So 
you now putting a lot more elements down on this left side here. Watch that A point. They've gotten uh, tricked a few times. There is a charge going on here. It is by Venom. He's trying to find the CSA flank here and get some fire on him. And he's going to push forward. Venom is going to push his men forward. And he is joined by Williamson in 3rd Alabama. They have an opportunity now to outflank the CSA. The question is, can the rest of the Union continue to put pressure forward on him? Venom is going in along with GC. Uh, I should say GC, GC on the other side, 3rd Alabama. And they are going to catch the CSA from behind. Put some real pressure on LFL. And they will win that fight. So even with the um, those numbers, they were actually able to do it. They didn't actually need um, anything more than a base of fire from this element over here. So a good attack by Empling and Williamson there. Wrapping around the CSA line here and taking the decisively. And there are no other elements on the field. Ex well, there's two left. Have elements 39th there. Group. But Killer being sneaky again. He has not only recovered his flag. Oh, he got caught. Union saw him making a maneuver. He will catch the Union flank, though. Putting some pretty good shots. Union is at breaking. 17 minutes remaining. CSA only at engage. And he, Killer is pulling his men back. Wise decision there, I think. No point in getting wiped for no reason. Now the Union being a bit more aggressive here. Here comes Williamson. He's going to try to knock out David. He will do so. Good attack by there. Tukor has some elements here that tried to sneak up on Killer. He's going to try to charge him out. That will disrupt uh, Killer's operation there for a little bit. We'll see if he can win that fight. He might have an opportunity to recap A again. Union getting aggressive here. Although, okay, Williamson has decided to pull back. He ran into 20th Georgia, then Jumbo. He doesn't have a lot of guys, but Jumbo will put down some pretty heavy volleys on you. That can disrupt you pretty easily. Now it looks like the CSA is settling into a more defensive position. But the Union knows they are behind, and they got to do something to change this battle up, and they are attacking. And it is Fritz in the lead. He's going to try to make a play on C point. 56 is going to try to escape and get out on the flank. He will manage to do it. That will create a bit of a dilemma for him. Fritz is able to put down some pretty heavy fire on 12th. Parker is going to come in to clean up. But CSA has had time to reset. Here's GC and LFL to the other coming up to defend the point. And 56 now has a flanking position from up there. That's going to put the Union element here in a box. And pretty much, I believe, disrupt this attack. And oh, by the way, CSA already has a great shot on them. And the CSA is charging up. LFL is going to try to end this quickly. They are joined by 18 North Carolina. I didn't know they were in this match. Oh, AGL, which is an 18 North Carolina guy. And that combined elements will wipe out the Union. So really good maneuvering there by the CSA. Stabilize the situation and then to uh, maneuver once they had the advantage. The Union now has time to uh, at least set up a defensive position. You got Venom out front here. Trying to hold on to B. Further in back in reserve, we got two core. While 52nd is maneuvering up. So we'll see what the CSA decides to do. Do they just run out the clock? Well, now they don't have advantage on tickets anymore, so they will start taking bleeds. So I imagine they want to take at least... Disrupt A or retake B. 
Uh, they do have a small window of advantage. They are starting to attack, so it looks like they're going to try to take advantage of it. Let's see if it was enough, though. Punishing volley coming in against AGL, done by the SB. And SB is going to charge in. I'm kind of surprised they are doing that. They don't have too many tickets left. Here comes Slaughter. Using that corn to maneuver. As the Huzzahs, uh, a couple of my friend, right? Here comes, here comes Slaughter. He's gonna come in behind the Union. And he has the Union back completely. I don't even know if the Union knows it yet. I don't think they do. All right, now they've noticed. Our SB has reacted. Nice maneuver there by the 56. Seen a couple of those today by them. It'll get behind the Union line. Union is reacting though. Good job by the SB. Well, two core. Good job by two core to stabilize that situation. Take out that flank. Take a look. Do we have anything else going on? Not really. Um, CSA looks like they're looking for another flank here. And it is killer again. He might be trying to do another play on A. Doing that all game, and he's been pretty successful at it, so... I would not blame him if he continues to do that. It looks like we got some long-distance shooting going on here. Both sides kind of settling into a defensive position. So the Union has two points, so they will have advantage on the ticket bleed. They are breaking, though, uh, about 60% uh, of the way remaining until they hit last stand. 11.45 left to the match. CSA is at taking losses. Pretty full up on that angle. Looks like Killer is not opting to go for A. Instead, he's going to try to roll up the flank here, at least initially, and put some fire onto the Union. Yep. Oh, it's under all of them. Union is pulling there. back though. There's still a line straight north. Straight north. There's still, there's still guys there. Right at the line. Move to the left of the line. Looks like Killer has opted straight to uh, provide defense. support for this attack on B. And he's got a pretty good position to do it in. Catching the Union. Pretty heavy flank at fire. But he has. Let's see. Nope. Fritz and Parker are moving back into the center. So nobody's. Moving yet to deal with A and B. I have one element out here. Maybe they are. What's this? So Braun with a piece of two cord at the very least. Six people on the flag, Now five. Doesn't have a lot of people, and now Killer's got some reinforcements coming in. All that's going on, though. We got a fight in the corn again. And that's 20th is mixing it up with SB, and while they're mixing it up, down the road comes Tiberius. He's going to try to get into a position to retake the point. Union is well positioned to deal with him. So Fritz and 8th Florida along with the NYV under Parker. Picking up a defensive position, overlook the point. AGL's gonna send some people in to try to take the flag back. And GC though is gonna move up and try to knock out Ace Florida. We'll see if they can do it. And they will succeed in pushing back Ace Florida. They will rejoin Parker and his guys here. Parker and his men doing a good job. Down Knock it down the flag. It's like uh, Braun was able to push back Killer and his guys on that far left side. I did not catch it though. CSA now flooding the uh, center here. It's only Parker left to deal with it. And that will not be enough as LFL charges in. And Parker will be forced to retreat. So we do have two core. Along with 52nd, 
in a position here on this flank. They've been dealing with Killer and his guys, not really overwatching B. And that will give an opportunity for the CSA, AGL, and GC recapturing the point. And the CSA pushing forward pretty aggressively here. Moss moving all the way forward. Got elements of uh, 12th VA with him as well. We're able to knock out uh, looks like some remnants from the NYV. That was a good idea. Now they can maneuver here on 2 core. And the CSA now has both points again. Union on break. Almost uh, last stand. 8 minutes, 17 left. CSA taking losses. Good amount of uh, tickets remaining. CSA once again in a strong position here. Two core still trying to maintain something. Looks like we have a charge going on here though. As Venom is gonna mix it up with Slaughter here. He's gonna catch him. Putting some pretty heavy volleys onto him. But there's another line coming in. It is killer. So SB will charge out. Remnants of 56. But he has given his back to killer. And killer is going to make him pay for that. And Union doing okay, but they can't afford these ticket losses. And Killer will win that charge with a good amount of his combat power remaining. Meantime, we have 50 seconds trying to do a maneuver here against. It's like a collection of units here. Trying to push them off the point. They are joined by another base of fire back here with two core. But with that loss by Venom opened up this side and here comes Jumbo he's gonna try to decap a so he was able to sneak through okay, okay so we're going for it. still got Fritz here might catch him in the rear we'll see how this goes if I get out of these damn woods he might get caught by Fritz I don't know is pushing forward a bit over here as well. Really just poking out here and it's 3rd Alabama just trying to find an angle. Yep, Jumbo will get caught by Fritz. Good uh, awareness there by Mr. Fritz. He will intercept Mr. Jumbo, but coming behind him. Don't hey, behind, is Mr. Killer who will get off a volley that will basically wipe out what is left of A Florida. Behind him <laughs> is Parker. And Parker will. I don't know if he'll have enough. We'll see. I think he has the advantage. Union, though, is now on last stand. So A and V will actually win this fight. Um, they are on last stand, though, and there's one element left coming up. It is Williamson. In the meantime, we got some Aggressive fighting here now that the Union is on last stand. The CSA is getting super, very aggressive here. I don't blame them. They are charging into two core. And AGL will win that fight. That'll basically take out two core. On this left side, we got Venom. He's going to tangle with Slaughter in the 56. But he's going to get caught by FAMAS in LFL. Yeah. Um, yeah. Man. 
CSA goes to break him, but they can afford the losses. And that will be it for SB. Who is left? All right, we got here is Empley trying to reorganize his men somewhere. And on A point, we have a collection of units. Not much left for the Union. Empley trying to bring his men back to a last stand over at A. CSA will win this match. Uh, looks like a bunch of people did dump out of the Union team, though. That is unfortunate to see. I don't know if they uh, just left as the uh, round was ending. Uh, no, 7th New York left again. That's unfortunate. Um, so... Um, I still think the CSA would have uh, won the match, but uh, losing a whole unit um, does throw off the results. So that's unfortunate to see. Oh, here comes Fritz. We'll see how these last Union elements do to end the match. Nice volley there by Fritz. It looks like Parker was with him. Oh. Yeah. Or at least elements of the uh, New York. You know what? Let's, let's... Tiberius is going to try to charge out what is left of uh, 52nd. While Killer tries to get one more charge in. Killer just pouring rounds into him. I don't even know if Eighth Water really realizes they're getting hit by him. Now he goes down. And that will be it for Eighth Florida. And CSA has won. Unfortunately, to see one of the Union regiments uh, dipped out. That was a pretty significant uh, decline in troops. Uh, still well played by the CSA, but now I don't... still think they would have won, to be honest with you, but um, I never know for sure now. So that's uh, a bit unfortunate, but I hope you guys had fun. Uh, either way, I had fun watching. So this is it for the uh, Friday uh, UEC event for Friday the 13th. Let's see what casualties we have to end it with. For the CSA, we have 907 for the Union, 1041. So... That's it for me. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. See you all next time.